What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to a beautiful day here in Houston, Texas. So behind me, for the OG subscribers, you already know what's going on. Check this out. We are back at it with the Ford. Now sadly, I will say that we had left off exactly, like we haven't done anything else off camera. It's been sitting in the garage and man, I'm, I'm glad to be back. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. First and foremost, we wanted to paint these like uh, strut bars. I think that's what they're called, strut bars or torsion bars, I can't remember. But anyways, we wanted to paint these and make them look a little bit nicer because we weren't gonna buy new ones. Again, we're kind of doing this on a budget. So we went ahead and painted those off camera. We do have some new bushings down here for the strut rods as well as some sway bar end links right here. Let's get right to it. Well, that's a view I have not seen in a long time. <laughs> so right now we're just gonna go ahead and dress the strut rod. So first we have the washer. And second, the bushing, of course. Make sure that that lip is facing out because then we have that bushing that's gonna have to fit in the frame of the car, I believe the subframe right here. And then right on the other side of that, we're gonna have to put another washer and bushing in it. Of course, all before we bolt this thing up. All right, so we got the other bushing in as well as the washer going back. And then the new nut. And look at that. That's the easy part. Just a side note, we do have some old rusty bolts that we didn't want to replace. So what we're doing is we're kind of dumping them in gasoline. That's kind of an old school way to kind of clean up all this stuff here that we have and make it look a little bit prettier while we have it going up against a freshly painted strut rod. I just like things a little bit shinier. So now we just have to tighten everything up, including the sway bar end links. Now I know I didn't get the sway bar end link install on camera, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it on the other side, but uh, real simple, really easy to do. The biggest one was the uh, strut rod. That it was, it was just very difficult to line up with the control arm holes and in the subframe hole. All right, y'all, there you have it. It's looking brand new. Some new suspension components, finally. So we might want to fix that sway bar end link just a little bit, but we still have the other side to go, so we might loosen it up and align it properly. But other than that, it's getting that much closer to being back out on the road. And yes, we are going to take this for a little bit of a spin today because it's just been way too long. And we have round two on the passenger side. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but just so you know, this is actually welded. You can see closely, there's actually spot welds for that bolt. So now I don't feel as bad <laughs> not getting that bolt out. There was a reason why, and I can't believe I just barely noticed that. But anyways, going back in with the passenger side. Sweet, so now that we have that perfectly fastened, we're gonna go ahead and line this bad boy up too. Now we actually found it easier to have it just free floating and then kind of align it and push it in and out on the driver's side. So I don't know if it's gonna be the same way this time around because we already have the tension that's on the driver's side. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. So then we need the sleeve that's in there on top of this one. And then we need to get this in there somehow. We already knew that this one was gonna be way harder because there's no give since we tightened the other one. All right, so when you're set and done, the front should look kind of like this. Brand new bushings on that side, the driver's side as well as the front. It's really important to note that those bushings have to line up like perfectly. So um, they have like tapers that go into the hole. So you gotta make sure that that happens. 
Oh, didn't mean to zoom in there, but you got to make sure that the bushings line up properly. Then over there we have the uh, sway bar in link and the nuts already in there. All right, so we got everything buttoned up. One thing that I was realizing is as I was tightening the strut bars in the front, I realized the threads that I was counting on the actual strut rod were a little bit different. There was like five on one side and six on the other. And I'm kind of, I'm almost positive looking at it and how it positions the wheel in the wheel well. I'm pretty sure that strut rod is like an old school way and I may be completely wrong but an old school way of adjusting the caster. So what I went ahead and did is I went back and tightened both of the nuts in the front perfectly tight and to where it's showing the same amount of threads on each side. So that way we have equal amounts no matter what. And maybe, you know, one wheel isn't sitting a little further back than another or vice versa. It's our favorite time. We put the wheels back on the front get it lowered off these jacks and let's just let's just do a little bit of a a victory lap over here in the neighborhood <laughs> cuz man it's been a while All right, I always like to say that this is a moment of truth first test as we lower the car. If we don't hear any pops and bangs, I say we're we're doing pretty good right now. Here we go. First start up in a while. Actually not in a while. My dad has actually been starting this thing up at randomly. Look at that. It just purrs now. Yeah, I really miss the sound of this car. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it for a spin. We have a little bit of a tight space to go here, but I think we can make it. Well, this kind of brings back memories. We're just cruising around the neighborhood. And it feels, what, you think it feels good? Yeah, it feels real good. Yeah. Very good. We got it confirmed, it feels good. Oh man, no fuel gauge problems right here. So it just ran out of gas. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, that's gonna effectively end today's video. Smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe because hey, subscribers, likes, sharing, all that stuff helps me spend more money on this Ford Falcon. And I wanna see this thing on the street. So definitely consider subscribing for more Ford Falcon content. We have to get it back on the road. <laughs> Anyways, we'll catch you at the next video, peace.